Mr. Speaker, I have also mentioned that Honorable Duale, I think everybody has been speaking about how Duale has the work ethics. Duale has been majority leader for about seven years. He has served even as assistant minister. We also, I agree that Honorable Kipchungu Mamurukum is versatile. He may not have the experience in that ministry that he has been charged with, but he is versatile. I know he can adopt. There are others like Eliudo Walo, people who have not worked in government, but through experience in terms of consultancy, he can get into that ministry and perform. Two years, I can't overemphasize. Kithuri Kendiki, misplaced, but intelligent enough, he can adjust. Uh, Speaker Muturi, I am sure, will deliver. But Mr. Speaker, looking at this cabinet in totality, I have my fears we are approving, if we do approve, we are approving a cabinet that is not so competent. We are approving a cabinet that I think the mindset of the appointing authority was not on service delivery. This is not a cabinet that is going to bring economic revolution in this country. This is not a cabinet that is going to have Kenya take off from a middle income economy. This is a cabinet that lacks competence, integrity in many aspects. So what was informing the appointment of these members to the cabinet? If you can have Aisha Juma tasked with the responsibility of reforming our civil service, which has challenges, I fear that is not something that is going to work. This is a cabinet that was informed by political expediency. The president has actually appointed 2027 campaign managers, regional campaign managers. The president is simply telling us that we give him a cabinet that is not going to function because he's ready to run the entire government system, machinery, and structure from state house using advisors. Otherwise, we would not have a cabinet that we have today. The cabinet is deficient in, in terms of academic, in terms of professional competence, in terms of experience, in terms of integrity. Many, many people with cases, look at the case of Davis Churchill, Mr. Speaker. This is the same gentleman who was removed from office in 2015. Removed from office on matters of corruption. This gentleman, how many Kenyans, if you ask them today, would remember that he was holding the docket of energy? Very few, meaning he left no impact in that ministry. And then you are leaving a lady you have already appointed to the cabinet called Rebecca Miano, who has enough experience, expertise, knowledge, capacity, Order. To run the order Ministry of, of Energy, Mr. Speaker. A point of order from Chip Conga. What is the point of order? It's just argument. Point of argument, you're wasting uh, my time. Mr. Speaker, you know, when the Bombardi knows that I know the law, I rise pursuant to standing order number 83, as read together with standing order number 91, on the accuracy of your information. Mr. Speaker, would it be in order for the Bombardi, who has been sitting in this house, he knows, the, he knows that uh, Mr. Chirchiri was never charged in any court of law. He was removed in a very capricious manner. He cannot quote any case here. He is just uh, bringing some market talk from outside. Mr. Speaker, he is under an obligation to be accurate. If he thinks that somebody is corrupt, he should, he should give us, in any event you had the government the last time, you should have charged him in a court of law. But you cannot just come and engage in a, in, in a market talk here in a serious house, Honorable Mbadi, for goodness sake, please, what a case in which Honorable Chirchir has been convicted or has been charged with an offense. Honorable You know, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Chekpunga is lucky that uh, Chepkut is no longer there. He would lose in the next election. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, <laughs> the, the threshold, Mr. Speaker, the threshold under Chapter 6 is higher than cases being in court and such like, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the threshold for approval in this House, we are not a court of law. In this House, we are approving you based on your capacity to hold office. Look at the lady uh, Penina. She is being disapproved simply because she could not talk properly. 
in the committee and you are telling me that a name that has been brought here by none other than the president as having been mentioned in matters corruption that that person is as clean as cotton mr speaker let us be serious even if and i've never been in government except in 20, 20 2008 to 2013 when i was in usmukati government i have never been in government any uh, since that time mr speaker so mr speaker as i conclude we have a choice to make either decision to reject over 60 percent of these names or give president ruto his skunk let us not interfere with it we give it to him he has asked for it let us give him his cabinet we know he's going to run the government from state house these are not people who can run a government apart from a few individuals who are not even more than eight the rest are incompetent and qualified have integrity issues are people who cannot deliver this country from where it is to the next level that we want the country to move in thank you mr speaker and i will oppose most of the names